Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel with Ellie the Mystical Fairy. I'm Melissa and I will be reading your cards today. In this video we are doing a timeless pick a card reading on how are you changing and transforming. I will have three piles for you to choose from as always and for pile one it will be using the Modern Witch Tarot deck. For pile two we're using the Rider Waite Tarot deck. And for pile three, we'll be using the Light Sears Tarot deck. So please choose whichever pile resonates with you the most. Hello, pile one. If you chose this beautiful bracelet, this will be your reading. I do not remember the name of this bracelet, but if you guys know, definitely leave it down in the comments below. But this is your reading, okay? I pulled an overall energy for you guys and two cards came out. So we have mirror who or what is triggering you. And we have Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, see seeding the light, laying foundations in divine plan. Okay. All right. So what I get from both of these cards is that, well, first the mirror card, I feel like you are realizing that everyone is a mirror of you. Um, I, I feel like maybe you're coming into contact with people or maybe you're looking around like at your friends and family or whoever is in your in inner circle. And I feel like um, you are realizing that everyone is a mirror of you. Everyone is a part of you, okay? And they're just your reflection or you're a reflection of everyone around you, right? Um, you know, some people could be triggering you, triggering you at this time. And if people are triggering you and these are, you know, some of these people, even if they're strangers, because, you know, you always meet people for a reason, right? Even if they're strangers, they're still literally a reflection of you. And I feel like if some people end up triggering you, they might trigger like your shadow side, meaning people may trigger you because maybe they act in a way that maybe you used to act or maybe they act in a way that resembles like your shadow side, right? Because we're all reflections of people, okay? So someone could be triggering you um, because, you know, they could be acting in a way that maybe your old self used to act, especially if you haven't really gotten like rid of these people, okay? Or not rid of them, or you like you really haven't cleaned like your inner circle. Um, you could be trying to change and transform, but some people may like still bring up things from your past or they may, they may still act a certain way that kind of resembles you from the past, okay? With the Anna Grandmother of Jesus, I really feel like you are laying, you are planting seeds. I feel like you have a plan or something like that. Um, especially like for this year i feel like you are really planning out like your goals and like checkpoints basically okay that you want to like complete and that is really going to help you if not if you aren't doing this spirit is telling me that this is a tip to give you um planning out different checkpoints and different steps for you to get to where you want to be is really going to help you okay all right but I also think that whatever you're going through right now is the Devon plan is where you're supposed to be, okay? Whatever you're doing right now, it's supposed to happen, okay? All right, Power One, I hope you've been doing well. All right, Spirit God, Ancient Ancestors, give me the most accurate messages for my Power One. All negative energy will be sent back to the sender, and please protect my Power Ones from all negativity. Thank you. All right. How are my palm ones changing and transforming, spirit? How are my palm ones changing? And, yep. Three of cups and a seven of wands. And I definitely feel like this has a little bit to do with this mirror card here. All right. 
I feel like you're definitely you're going to be letting go of people who are honestly jealous of you with the seven of wands I feel like you have people around you who are jealous of you and they could be triggering you okay and I just feel like something here is about cleaning up like that in your inner circle okay letting go of people who trigger you or who are mirrors of your past self you know it reminds me of this TikTok that I saw that you know if you want to change your perception of yourself you, you gotta let go of old people right because you know they're gonna keep holding on to old perceptions they're gonna keep reminding you of your past self especially if they're not if they if they can't accept the new you if they can't accept change they're going to keep holding on the past past things about you they may bring up you know past negative you know uh beliefs that they have about yourself and it's just like you know you can't move forward you can't grow in you know in an environment like that okay all right let's see so I definitely feel like the way that you're transforming is that you're going to be letting go of people who are jealous of you. You're going to be standing tall, okay? I definitely feel like these are friends with the Three of Cups here. How are my power ones tra changing and transforming, spirit? How are my power ones? Six of Swords, you're going to be moving into peace. Yes, power one. You're cleaning up that inner circle. You're cleaning up... Okay, I also feel like you're changing and transforming by not letting, like, even strangers trigger you. I'm also getting, like, a work situation. I'm seeing, like, a work situation where people may trigger you, okay, make you mad, angry quickly. Like, maybe you deal with, like, customers who aren't the nicest or maybe you deal with the boss who isn't the nicest, okay? But you're going to be letting that go. Like, things are just not going to be triggering you that much, okay? Yeah, with the Four of Swords on the back of the deck... I just feel like I'm getting that uh, saying by Woke Up Cupid. I don't know if you guys um, watch her or not, but she says flow like water. And I just feel like, I don't know. I, I get an image of a shower. So maybe a nice shower would be good for you. Like meaning like when you shower, you should like just imagine like the negativity like washing over you. I feel like that will help you a lot, okay? But it's something about negativity, things that people say, people's judgment is just gonna be washing over you. Like you're you're not even going to be responding in a way that's like mean or you, you're not gonna have any response to people at all. It's literally just gonna flow right over you, okay? And I feel like I get a confused look from you. It's just like, why is this happening to me? Or like, um, like you're you're surprised almost like wow, I didn't respond, like, you know. Okay, let's see. How are my power ones changing and transforming spirit? How are my power ones changing and transforming spirit? How are my power ones changing and transforming? Okay, two of swords. All right, let's see. The sun. All right, with the two of swords here, I definitely feel like... All right, I don't know why I'm hearing turning the blonde eye, okay? I don't know if that even makes sense for any of you guys, but um, I'll just be having my own lingo sometimes. But I don't know. <laughs> I feel like she's blonde to the BS, okay? <laughs> um, but Tua Swords talks about having to make a decision, okay? But we're going to clarify this so I can get more information on this card, but right now i'm just feeling like you're blonde to the bs i don't know it's just something about what this pal is you're not going to be giving a response like you're not responding to the bs no more and i'm not even saying that in a way like people you're going to allow people to walk all over you i'm literally feeling like you're just leaving like you're not going to respond you're just gone like you're, you're you're ghosting people that's what it feels like you know it's not like people are going to be like oh you know she's not responding to me anymore like or you know they're gonna it's not like they're gonna walk all over you it's just that you're gonna be gone i mean they're not gonna have anyone to walk over you so it's like <laughs> i don't know um let's see clarify the three of cups here spirit how are my power ones changing and transforming spirit i just feel like people used to trigger you a lot but it's because they're jealous of you with the seven of ones if you are feeling triggered at this moment or you have people in your life that, is that are triggering you, it's because they're jealous of you. And I feel like you're kind of 
right now you're at this point where you kind of have to like you're you're finding off those what people are saying what people are projecting onto you i feel like you're just fighting it off and i feel like you're trying to prove yourself when you know the more that you it, sometimes it doesn't matter to stupid or dumb people you know and i hate to say that like i'm not a mean person i don't just call anyone dumb or stupid but i feel like people are dumb and stupid for projecting on the people it's not a nice thing to do um and it's not a nice thing to be jealous of someone you know and i just feel like like even if you try to prove yourself to these people it's not working okay so i feel like you're just going to end up leaving people you're just going to let it flow right over you and you're just going to leave situations like that okay you don't have to prove yourself just like it like i feel like the way you're transforming and changing is that you're going to like you're going to make it happen and they're just going to have to see you when the results come in they're going to have to see you when you know you get to where you want to be like you know you're not going to have time to talk anymore about it. You're not going to have time to argue back and forth, bicker back and forth about what you're going to do, blah, blah, blah. You're just going to let it happen. They're just going to have to sit and watch while you're gone, you know? So, yeah, let's see. Give me some more cards, Spirit. How are, how are my power ones changing and transforming, Spirit? The strength. Leo energy here, okay? you're very strong okay and i just feel like you've been dealing with this for so long but you gotta let that go right over you gotta let people's judgments go right over you okay and i need to take my own advice because <laughs> sometimes stuff will still be stuck in my head as well but like you're i just feel like you're such a strong person like you don't really let you know you're going to stand your ground but sometimes it, it it causes you a little bit more stress you know how when you have to keep arguing and bickering back and forth these with these people and you know it still doesn't end up mattering because they still want to argue with you they still want to put you down they still want to project onto you they still want to remind you of your past right it doesn't matter you know it's just they're just gonna have to see your results you know they're gonna have to see your achievements from far away okay i'm also getting love these people far away so if these are family members you know i do say love from afar or something like that here all right how are my power wants changing and transforming spirit justice yeah you're gonna get justice for this libra energy here okay how my power was changing and transforming spirit the hierophant you got three major arcanas coming out what in a row you know your intuition knows okay you know you are the source you know that it's time for you to go it's time for you to leave these judgments behind it's time for you to leave these people behind this is how you're changing and transforming you're leaving into peace you're leaving you're not going to make a big fuss about it you're not going to try to prove yourself anymore you're just gone you're ghosted you're you're ghosting people like let's see i'm so proud of you power one like yes that's awesome. How <laughs> my power was changing and transforming spirit. All right. We got the star. Oh my gosh. You have four major arcanas coming out in a row. And we got the two of cups. I feel like you're learning to pour into yourself, okay? I feel like overall, power one, you're a very strong person. And I really admire you for that. I feel like, you know like you, you don't let it get to you so much it's just that it's a point in proving yourself so you could be a leo here for sure we got just so people are going to get their karma for judging you okay um people are going to get their karma for projecting onto you okay um i'm also getting cancer energy here you may not be a cancer but i feel like uh cancers they definitely kind of take on other people's like like stuff okay because they're very sensitive and empathetic so they kind of take on other people's dramas you know anything um you know and i feel like you're going to get justice for this i feel like you are um 
you're gonna be successful and people are just gonna have to see you from far away and that's how you're changing and transforming okay with the hierophant here i feel like your intuition is increasing i feel like your intuition you're going to know when it's time for you to leave i feel like anytime people try to argue with you try to spit their projections at you, you you're gonna get an inner knowing you're going to get a gut feeling that it's time for you to leave it's time for you to go and you're going to be leaving in peace every time okay and with the star and the two of cups i feel like you're going to be pouring more into yourself okay maybe you took on other people's roles too much or maybe you took on other people's problems too much in the past but i feel like now you're going to be pouring into yourself you're going to be giving love into yourself you're going to be loving yourself more okay i want to see what's the result of this horror real quick you're reading um it's kind of long, but we're going to see. I just want to know um, with the Hierophant here. Clarify the Hierophant spirit. Let's see. All right. Clarify the Hierophant spirit. Why is the Hierophant here? Death. Yeah. Mm. You have a lot of major arcanas coming out. And it's crazy, power one. Okay. Death with the Hierophant. I just feel like... <laughs> every time you leave it, like you're, you're changing for the better okay and i feel like even every time that you do leave people are going to see you uh people may even think you're more beautiful more handsome like you're gonna always i feel like anytime you leave a situation you're gonna always have a lesson that you learned okay and it's going to prepare you for the next okay because you can't sometimes we can learn lessons but we can't always avoid you know being in situations like these but when you see another situation like this or when you feel like you're being you know people are projecting onto you people are casting their judgments onto you people are trying to stop you from your from your goals and dreams or whatever it may be you're going to be able to sense this okay Okay, and every time, each time this happens for you, each time you leave in peace, each time you leave, you know, not not trying to prove yourself, you're going to be transforming every single time. You're going to get better. You're going to get prettier. You're going to get handsomer. You're going to get more goals and opportunities. That spirit's way of of rewarding you okay power one so that is all that I have for you. I really hope this provides you a lot of clarification and um yeah about how you're transforming and i really hope this resonated for you if you feel connected to me and my readings don't forget to check out my patreon the link will be down in the description below and yeah i really enjoyed reading your pal power one and yeah i hope to see y'all in my next video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and yeah bye hello pal two if you chose this evil eye bracelet this will be your reading all right so i did pull an overall energy for you and we have a trust your path okay and it says if you knew you would be supported what would you do okay so i definitely feel like part of your change and transformation is that you're going to be trusting yourself you're going to be trusting your intuition and i feel like you know because sometimes we can question spirit sometimes we can question god of like why did this happen to me why am i going on this path you know and i feel like you're going to be trusting you know the universe more you're going to be trusting god more okay um and you're going to trust where you're going and i feel like you're going to be leading with confidence as well okay you're going to be very confident in where you're going okay all right let's see how are my power to changing and transforming spirit how are my power to changing and transforming spirit how are my politics changing and transforming spirit? All right, spirit God, into ancestors, give me the most accurate messages for my pile twos. All negative energy will be sent back to the sender, and please protect my pile twos from all negativity. Thank you. All right, let's see what's going on for you. How are my pile twos changing and transforming spirit? All right, nine of cups. Wow. Okay. How are my politics changing and transforming spirit? Queen of Swords. Ooh, boundaries. Okay. <laughs> All right. First two cards coming out. I feel like the way that you're changing and transforming, I feel like, first of all, 
I'm feeling heavy boundaries, okay? With the Nine of Cups, here's a, the Nine of Cups talks about pleasure, um, maybe satisfaction, like, like really just in like maybe a little bit of indulging or something like that here. But I feel like you know you may have been around people that kind of uh could have took advantage of you maybe because you had something or um maybe because you're very satisfied okay and i really feel like you're going to be putting boundaries up and now this is how you're and i feel like that's how you're changing and transforming i don't want to say you've been a people a people pleaser yet because i haven't even you know gotten the whole spread out yet but i'm just getting the message getting something getting a message to say that to you so you could have been i don't want to say a people pleaser but you could have i feel like you're just being a little bit more selfish that's what it is i feel like um and i also get a feeling of like gratefulness and also like you you're feeling like you're more deserving so you're going to be very confident and trusting yourself but you're also going to like you're going to know that you deserve something, okay? Um, like, you know, like if an opportunity comes to you or, you know, it could be even something random that you're like, you know, wow, like, you know, maybe you used to be like, I don't deserve this. You might be like, you know, um, you know, you may not accept things and you don't have to accept like everything that people have to offer you but i feel like you know you're gonna be more deserving okay um you're gonna be more like accepting like excited for opportunity or opportunities okay all right i hope you guys are getting what i'm saying sometimes it, it takes a little bit to get my messages out but sometimes people like you may have not taken a lot of opportunities in the past like maybe because you felt like you know maybe it wouldn't work out or maybe you have this and that and this to do but i have a, like a really like like i get a message like i'm i'm trying to <laughs> oh my god see sometimes this happens to me i'm like maybe i should just cut it out but i don't think i'm gonna cut this out because this is like real like this is me channeling like for real but I get a message and telling you that you never know what one decision can take you. Like you, you may say yes to something and you just never know where that's going to take you. And I feel like that has a lot to do with, with trusting your path, you know? Oh man. <laughs> I hope you guys got what I was saying there. Okay. But let's see. All right. How am I proud to changing and transforming spirit nine of swords okay how my power to changing and transforming see i just feel like before you you had boundaries okay maybe people just used to stress you out made you feel bad for something okay how my power to changing and transforming spirit the strength card here you're going to be a lot stronger. And I also feel like you're going to be more assertive in standing up for yourself, okay? I feel like maybe you had a lot of people who tried to use you. Or, like, they just saw that you were very satisfied here, okay? Maybe you have a, you have a lot to offer, pal. You have a lot to offer to people, okay? And it's just that you may have given yourself, you know, maybe a little bit too much to... You know people who aren't deserving of your energy okay but i feel like you're going to be you're going to be putting up those boundaries okay and you're also going to be a lot stronger okay you're you're going to be more assertive i'm also getting you're going to be able to tell people what you want and need and i feel like especially when it comes to relationships relationships romantically friend friend wise or even like family members you're going to really be standing up for yourself and telling people what you need you know to out of a right or out of a relationship you know like you're going to be telling people you know what you need to be satisfied you know just how you know you may ask someone else or you may try to do everything for you know a certain person but maybe they don't really pour into you so you're going to be telling them like i need this to you know 
to to have like reassurance you know to you know like maybe you just need like a little bit like reassurance from people or maybe people just need to you know you're gonna be you know telling people your needs and relationships and that's totally okay you know um or you're, they're out you know if they can't honor that um then i feel like you're just gonna be gone you're leaving okay because i feel like you you put up with too too much you know with people okay let's see How are my power tools changing and transforming spirit? How are my power tools changing and transforming? All right. King of Cups. You also got the King of Pentacles coming out too. All right. How are my power tools changing and transforming spirit? Nine of Wands. How are my power tubes changing and transforming? The Knight of Swords. Wow, okay. All right. And the Magician here. In the back of the deck. So first I want to say I have a heavy Leo energy. I have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. I really have all energies, even uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, all right? Um, but let's see. I'm feeling like... One thing I feel like how you're changing and transforming is that I really feel like you're not going to let people get you down, you know, so much. I feel like you're going to be finding the energy to get up and go, okay? I also feel like the way that you're transforming and changing is that, like, people who may put you down or, or people, like, who may, you know, not always have the best judgments or may even make you depressed a little bit, I feel like that's literally going to be your motivation to be your best self, okay? Because some people, they find motivation in people's, uh, people's doubts about you basically um and I really feel like that's going to be happening for you I feel like you're like you're going to be finding a strength you're going to be finding some type of motivation here and I feel like people's doubts people's you know whatever people have to say you're just like okay stand on that you know and I'm gonna go do what I you know do what I want to do I'm gonna go do what I need to do okay and I feel like you're going to be basically you're going to be finding motivation in that that's going to be your get up and go like bet i can't do this but i'm about to you know i'm about to literally do what you said i can't do okay and i feel like it's literally going to be you with the strength and the knight of swords i really do feel like you're going to be hearing a lot of good news okay i also feel like how you're how you're going to be able to stand up for yourself and be assertive i feel like you're going to get really good results with that okay i feel like also people are going to be treating you differently in a way okay um some people um i feel like they're going to notice like maybe your boundaries or this new attitude about yourself even like new people that come into your life and they're going to know how to treat you okay i just i just feel like you're going to be getting really good results with the strength and the knight of swords here okay you're also going to be able to communicate better okay um you know communication is going to be more clear okay especially when you let people know what you need when you let people know hey you can't do this you can't do that i feel like like the communication is going to be a lot better okay or people are going to be under be able to understand you a little bit more because people you know we all people say you know you never know what people need you know people don't read minds okay so i feel like when you're when you talk or you know when you really um you know put yourself um put yourself first and really tell people what you need people are really going to be like okay now i know you know how to go about you know dealing with this person or what i can and can't do what i can and can't say around this person okay well the king of cups and the and the king of pentacles here um i definitely feel like you are very emotionally intelligent here okay and 
you know, it just reminds me of this thing I read. Like, you know, not everybody is as emotionally intelligent as you, okay? So you kind of just have to like, you know, you might also expect things back from people you know when you give you know you may give so much emotionally or maybe even give like you know gifts like physical gifts or whatever you may give so much of your time to people and you know but you're very emotionally intelligent not everyone is emotionally intelligent and you know sometimes people don't really know you know how to go about things and that's why it's just like you you should be i feel like you're going to become more assertive you're going to be telling people what you need okay and it's okay if they can't not everyone's going to be able to honor that you're just going to be gone you're just going to let them go basically okay but yeah i definitely feel like you're very emotionally intelligent however you, you also have a balance between the spirit world and the physical world here um and yeah what the what the um with the Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles here, I definitely feel like, you know, you're you're putting boundaries up, especially when it comes to money. Cause maybe you people used to maybe borrow money from you or you know, something around that. Or like I said, people may have just, you know, been around you because maybe you had something they wanted or you're very satisfied, you're very stable as well, okay. And you're you're gonna be putting those boundaries up, like, you know. I may be stable, you know, I may have this and that, but that doesn't mean you can take from me, okay? Um, you know, um, so yeah, power to, and yeah, I just feel like you're going to be leading with confidence here. You're going to be so confident with yourself, and you're going to get really good results with this. And, you know, let go of anybody who, who can't give you the things that you need, okay, power to, or let go of anybody who, you know, can't show up for you in the way that you need okay pal two so yes pal two that is what i get for your reading i'm so sorry that i was literally like trying to sh like i was struggling getting my messages out but sometimes that just happens for me um when i have so much to say to you guys so yeah pal two i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it gave you a little bit of clarification here if you feel connected to me and my readings definitely check out my patreon the link will be down in the description box below don't don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hello, Pal3. If you chose this beautiful bracelet, I don't know the name of this bracelet, but if you guys know, definitely leave it down in the comments below. But yeah, if you chose this beautiful bracelet, this will be your pal, okay? So I did pull an overall energy for you guys, and it says, trust the niggle, okay? And this is what the card looks like. And it says, what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you, okay? So I just feel like, what is your gut feeling trying to tell you? What is your intuition trying to tell you, okay? I feel like how you're changing and transforming, you're going to be going, um, you're going to be leading with your intuition. Um, I feel like you're going to be chasing your dreams, honestly. Um, I feel like, you know, not, you know, to do anything like super crazy, but I mean, I just feel like if you want to do something, you're going to do it. If you want to go out of town right now, you're going to go out of town right now. That's how I feel, like how you're changing and transforming. Like if you want to, you know, start a social media, you want to start YouTube, you want to go to a different job, you're going to do it. Like whatever you want, you're, you're going to be putting your mind towards anything, okay? Um, anything that you have a feeling to do, you're really going to be chasing after your dreams here, Pal 3. And that's how I feel like you're changing and transforming. But let's see what Tarot has to say, okay? Spirit God, Ancient Ancestors, please give me the most accurate messages from my Power Threes. All negative energy will be sent back to the sender. And please protect my Power Threes from all negativity. Thank you. All right, Power Three. I hope you've been doing well. Okay, let's see what's going on for you, right? How are my Power Threes changing and transforming, Spirit? How are my Power Threes changing and transforming? How are my Power Threes changing and transforming how my policies changing and transforming we got the high priestess so yeah definitely intuition here okay i feel like your your intuition you might have a heightened intuition as well okay i'm also getting something about this year okay 
you could have grown or learned some type of lesson here which is which is which has heightened your intuition a bit okay let's see how are my power threes changing and transforming spirit how are my power threes changing and transforming spirit how are my power threes changing and trans two of cups oh wow how are my power threes changing and transforming? I get a mirror, okay? I don't know why this is coming to me, but I just get a mirror here and you just looking at yourself, okay? And really just being in love with yourself. I don't know why this is coming to me, but I just get it like you looking in a mirror and you just really being in love with yourself okay becoming one with yourself all right let's see and something about your eyes too i feel like your eyes are very prominent you got very big eyes okay um something about your eyes i don't know <laughs> okay let's see how are my power threes changing and transforming spirit how are my power threes changing and transforming two of pentacles here mm. how are my power threes changing and transforming how are my power threes changing and transforming spirit the empress as well as the nine of swords I don't know, power three. I really just think you're going to be becoming in love with yourself. Um, just loving who you are, really. Um, and I just feel like no one can bring that down, like, from you. Like, no one can take that away from you um, now. Like, I feel like you're going to know yourself so much. You're going to accept yourself so much that it's just, like, no one can really say anything that'll you know make you feel some type of way about yourself anymore because maybe in the past people used to say some things to you and it could have made you question you know question yourself but it's like no like you know yourself you you're like you know you can't say this to me or you know you're you can't just say anything to me and expect me to you know feel some type of way or expect me to you know still um I don't know feel down about something like i just feel like people used to say things to you and maybe like you kind of maybe you kind of took it a little bit harsh but i just feel like now you're just like you're just in love with yourself like you know yourself like you know your self-worth and you look really good okay i'm getting like a uh, taurus energy here heavy taurus I just feel like you're becoming your best version, Pile 3. Like, this is you becoming your best version. You could be, like, um, like far along in your spiritual journey, Pile 3. Like, you could have you could have been there, done that. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I get with, with, with your energy here. You've been there, done that. It's time for you to, to move forward. It's time for you to really step into who you really are, Pile 3. All right, let me get some cards of uh, so I can clarify. Okay, let's see. All right, how are my properties changing and transforming? Clarify the high priestess spirit. My properties changing and transforming. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, with the Page of Pentacles here with the High Priestess, I feel like you were, you could have once been a student, but it's like now people are learning from you, okay? It's something about the knowledge that you have, Power 3. I don't know. Like, I feel like you're, you, you're far along here. You're definitely far along. And even if you have just started your spiritual journey, you may be a little bit, no one's really ahead or behind. Like, I, I don't like to say that because you just, you know, we were all at a certain point before, right? But you might just be like, 
you might have just caught on or or maybe you have like a lot more um you have a lot of questions okay or maybe you know you could just be changing in a rapid rate okay um i'm also getting the word exceeding at a rapid rate okay whatever you're doing you're doing it well like you're definitely transforming and i just feel like you're just transforming to your best self i really do and it's something about you're not accepting mediocre you're not accepting bare minimum anymore okay uh, it's something about your attitude you're just like i could do bare minimum for myself i could do more than the bare minimum for myself so it's like why would i accept that from anyone else i feel like that's what you're saying all right it's like nothing can disrupt what you're doing at this time okay let's see clarify the two of cups how am i power threes changing and transforming spirit how am i power threes changing and transforming how am i power threes changing and transforming three of swords here yeah i definitely feel like you could have just been a little bit broken before i don't know why i get this you could also be changing like your relationships yeah power three you seem you see, i feel like you're very smart in here with the ace of swords on the back of the deck but yeah I, I feel like you were very hurt before you could also be changing how you view relationships honestly okay and I feel like you're 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 you have standards for for people, and it's not like you didn't have standards before. Maybe your standards have changed or something like that, right? And I just feel like this is going to be opening doors to more healing connections for you. Okay, your standards could be you know maybe you're looking for someone who is willing to learn or willing to heal or someone who has great conversation. I don't know, but um. Yeah, I definitely feel like with the Three of Swords before, you, you could have been hurt before, okay? And, but with you being hurt and with you learning, you know, you, it was all part of your spiritual journey so that you could basically realize, you know, what you want to attract in another person, I feel like if you get what I'm saying here. Um, it was all for you to learn who you really want to be around or who you really want as a soulmate here. I also just feel like this could also just have a lot to do with the you as well. Um, maybe people have hurt you a lot, hurt your feelings, okay? Um, and I just feel like you just know who you are now. I just feel like I get someone looking in the mirror just like, yeah, I'm that girl. I'm that man. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Something about self-acceptance. Like, you just accept everything about yourself. Um, and that's not to say that, oh, you, you're not going to change. You're not going to be, get better. But it's like, you know... I feel like you're just accepting things that maybe put you, people have put you down for, okay? And honestly, I feel like, you know, people in this power, I feel like people who put you down, um, they, um, you know, they, they may, you may be like misunderstood or, you know, maybe people didn't understand how smart you, you are, okay? People may have put you down for your intelligence, okay? That's how I feel like this power was. And maybe you felt like you had to dim your light and fit in, you know. And you're just like, you're not doing that anymore. Like, you're going to be attracting the right people around you now, okay. That will let you shine, that share the same interests with you, okay. All right, how are my power threes changing and transforming spirit? The king of swords here. I do feel like you're becoming more stern here. I also do feel like you're going to be making decisions more easily, okay? But yeah, I do feel like um, there's a little bit of juggling here. I definitely feel like you're going to be becoming more stern when it comes when it comes to yourself, okay? I feel like you're going to realize quickly that, you know, 
there's there's not gonna there's not gonna be so much confusion on what path you you're gonna take, especially when you have this as your overall energy. Trust the niggle here. That's such a weird word, but um, <laughs> I feel like um you're not gonna have so much confusion okay you're not gonna be so indecisive it's like you're going to choose a path i feel like you're gonna recognize like i need to choose this now like you know you just never know what decision you know you make that could change your life basically and i feel like you're realizing that okay there's not gonna be no more confusion you're going to go what is you know in your gut i also do feel like if people have been juggling you there's no more of that okay um i feel like you know, you're going to be changing in a way where, you know, you're, you're becoming more stern, a little bit more assertive. You know, you may be a little bit more rigid too, okay? You know, I also feel like something about the word compromise. Maybe you're not open to too much compromise because maybe you still compromise for other people and it's just like maybe they never used to do the same thing for you so i feel like you're not gonna be too much open to compromise like now i feel like at this time at least you're gonna be more like no like this is what i want if you can't give it to me and then you know that's that i feel like you're not going to compromise too much okay but i feel like people are juggling juggling you're gonna be like you know choose whoever else that's it okay like you know if you're if you feel confused about me you're just like well look maybe it's not the right thing you know because you know things that come to you you know if, if there's some confusion involved involved usually it's not the best you know decision for you or it's not the best option for you okay all right things should feel very clear when choosing things people places things decisions things should be clear for you okay and it should feel right okay and i feel like you're you're realizing that that's how you're changing and transforming okay all right clarify the empress in the knight of swords spirit clarify the empress in the knight of swords we got the seven of pentacles you're planting your seeds here <clears throat> I do feel like with you being in this energy here, you have a very peaceful energy here. All right, you may make people, even if you're not a mother, you could be a mother here, but even if you're not a mother, you may make people feel very comfortable around you, okay? Um, I do feel like you are going to get a lot of people who want to be around you with this. You might get a lot of offers from people. Um, you know, you might get a lot of, you know, I just did a lot of communication with you. People may want to talk to you. People may want to, you know, maybe get your advice. People may even want to be with you, okay? And I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles here, I feel like you're investing. Um, but I also feel like if people aren't investing into you, I feel like you're not, you know, you're not really open, okay? And people may have a little regret with the Four of Cups here. Um, or they may feel a little bit left out by you. Or they may feel a little bit regretful about something here. Power 3, I just feel like you're so into your spiritual journey that you kind of already know. <laughs> um, but maybe you just needed this video for clarification. But yeah, um, I just feel like you are going to be trusting your intuition more i feel like you've already learned so much um i feel like you've already like you were a scholar at something like you you really took your time to you may to like dedicate you know like time like spent learning about like spirituality and stuff like that uh and like i said even if you're just starting out that journey i feel like you know you are very curious and that's a really good thing um you could be asking a lot of questions you could be researching a lot and i really feel like you are becoming your best self okay um nobody's gonna, not gonna be able to tell you anything about three um and it, it's just like if they're not investing into you you know if these people you know are juggling you whatever you're just gone like you're not going to tolerate that okay because you know you're the empress you know that there's literally so many other people out there. There's so many options out there, okay? You're going to choose the best option that feels right for you, okay? You're not going to be confused anymore. Um, you're going to go with what feels, um, um, I almost want to say light, like a light, like you get a light feeling, like you, you just know, you have an inner knowing, okay? And yeah, 
pal three i am so happy to read your cards pal three thank you so much for watching take what resonates leave the rest if you feel connected to me and my readings definitely check out my um patreon link in the description box below and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and yeah i'm so sorry if this reading was a little bit all over the place i just have to put a little disclaimer because you know um i feel like i really enjoy talking about like transformations and change and stuff and i have a lot of messages that want to come out for you guys um so yeah sorry if my words got a little bit mixed up or you know things like that if you have if you need any clarification you can definitely comment you know and i'll like respond to you um but yeah thank you so much for watching me and i will see y'all in my next video bye